over the last while what I've really been focusing on is making large groups of human sized lantern figures and lighting them usually for a commemorative reason. People seeing those figures and being around them, it was a very beautiful way of addressing painful feelings about things. Having something beautiful around you helped in that situation. So that inspired me then with Annalee Watson, a Mayo-based community activist, to apply for the seed funding for the Irish Hospice Foundation. A lot of it was myself and Annalee brainstorming where the work would have the greatest impact. And Crow Patrick, but particularly here in Mayo, it's a really special mountain. It's a pilgrimage mountain in Christian times. But through archaeology and everything, it's been a pilgrimage place for way beyond that. It's just a special place. And what you bring there gets imbued with that specialness. We needed 10 people, at least 10 people, to work with us for four days um, to make these figures and the Art Squad were delighted to do that and we were delighted to be here. So the process to making a figure, I have an example here. There's the chin and here's the chest. And then components like the arms will be made like this. And then when people are assembling them, they do it in positions that they decide. And then the sizes are based on their own body shape. So they're very eclectic as people are and then they're all covered in this wet strand tissue. I'd say 90% of the people who made these have never done anything like this before. So people get so much out of it. The underlying reason that we were making the work um, was thinking of people who have passed away and the whole subject of grief. So that was part of the workshop process as well. I found it's a really healthy way of dealing with kind of heavy issues is that you have those issues on the table and it's the reason you're there but the focus is on making. It's been an amazing night beyond my expectation. People got so much out of seeing the work in that context and the conversations that we had with people about the work were very moving. To be here on the home ground at Croke Patrick, it's very significant to me and we're really hoping we can do this again and to grow on it and to develop it because this is called seed funding and we're very much seeing that this is a seed that will grow and we're going to look after that seed.